Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tamar Mizels. I'm a Jewish wife and mother living in Israel. And today we are going to talk about three very common misconceptions about Judaism. The first one is that Avraham was the first monotheist in the world. And this is one that I was also confused about. And the reason why we think that Avraham was the first monotheist is because we have a lot of stories telling us how Avraham realized that the people around him that were worshiping idols and even his father were wrong and he realizes that there's one God in the world. But according to what's written in the book of Bereshit, Genesis, Adam and Eve knew that there was one God. Not only that, they even spoke to him and communicated with him. So wait a minute, what happened between the time when Adam Arishon, Adam and Eve were talking to God and about 20 generations later in Avraham's generation where they're worshiping idols. Well, according to Rambam, they were using idols and different elements in the world to help them worship God, the one God. But over the generations and over the years, they started worshiping the means. So Abraham actually was not the first monotheist, but he realized the mistake of his generation and his father, and he decided to worship one God and to spread this word uh, among people that he met and so we sometimes mistakenly think that he was the first monotheist which he wasn't. The second one is the Kotel is the most holy place to the Jews. Now if you made this mistake don't feel bad because not long ago Yair Lapid who is currently our Prime Minister actually made this mistake when Jews were going up to Temple Mount and he said to them why don't you instead, Davin, pray at the holiest place to the Jews, the Kotel, the Western Wall? This is actually not true. So according to Judaism, the holiest place is the land of Israel. And to be more specific, in the land of Israel is the city of Jerusalem. And inside the city of Jerusalem, the Temple Mount um, is the holiest. And inside the Temple Mount, there's a specific place that is actually even the holiest. So the Temple Mount is considered so holy, in fact, that many rabbis forbid Jews to go up there because it is so holy, and while others do permit it, and so some people do go up to the Temple Mount. The Kotel is a small remainder of the wall that surrounded the Temple Mount built by Hordas in the Second Temple. So it is very holy, and Jews over the years have prayed in it, and a lot of times that was the place we were able to get to, so we prayed and it's the closest place to the Temple Mount that we are allowed to pray according to a lot of opinions, but it is not the holiest place to Jews. The third one is we think that we're better than non-Jews. Now, this is completely false. We do not think that we're better intrinsically than non-Jews. The only difference is the difference in the mission in the world, the mission that God gave us. And we are supposed to be a light to the nations. Why I am a Jew. Nor is it because I think that Jews are better than others, more intelligent, creative, generous, or successful. It's not Jews who are different, but Judaism. It's not so much what we are but what we're called on to be. We don't think that there's any intrinsic difference between us and a non-Jew. And a proof of that is that any non-Jew who wants to join us and join our mission and become a full convert is able to do so. And once he does so, is completely a Jew. He cannot take it back. Many great Jews in the past, Rabbi Akiva was descended from converts and uh, Ruth was a convert. So we have major, major converts that joined us, Unkelus, who is a huge uh, Bible commentator, and we don't think that there's anything intrinsically different about us. What is different is we believe that we have a very important role to do, a very idealistic role to do. And in order to do so, we were given 365 mitzvot, commandments, so it's a lot of hard work. And a non-Jew, I'm gonna do a video about this in the future, is obligated to do the seven mitzvot of Noahide. I'm curious to know in the comments below, did you know these or did you also think some of these misconceptions? I'd love to know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up.